Hello, how are we doing today? My name is Quentin. I should be our guide through this video. Today, our job is collecting the bales. Now, there are many of them. We have a trailer, and there are people running around collecting the bales up uh, when we are in the field. Or they will be. They're not here yet. But what we need to do is get over to the shop or the, the general shop area as they are accepting bales over there and we shall be selling them to the shop uh, would this be the fastest way? yes I am, of course, presuming I remember the way to the shop, which I may not be. Knowing my look, I'll get lost. And uh, that, that will be something to deal with. Will have to be something to be dealt with. Indicators always while turning. I've been instructed to use indicators while turning. Indicator. There we go. Continuing the left turn. Ooh, there's a right turn coming up now. There we go. Indicate that we're taking the turn. Careful. There we go. I'm going straight now. We. Oh, another right turn. Can't be too careful when driving like this. You never know who's going to uh, be on the roads. There we go. I was stopped by police yesterday too. That when I, whenever I'm turning, that I need to use the indicators, which I obviously will do. I don't want to be breaking the laws. There we go. Nice straight line. So let's use our straight line indicator. There we go. I do have the drone out, so let's get that up. And moving about as well. There we go. Straight line indicator. We've got a right turn coming up now in a moment. We indicate when we are closer. Perhaps I should store some of these bales. Perhaps I should invest in a bigger baler. The uh, baler, as good as it is, is not particularly great. Straight line indicators. I presume that's what they're for. Gentle right turn, so. Very careful indicating. There we go. Straight line once again. Turning left now. There we go. Fantastic. Can't be too careful with the in with indicators. <sighs> now for the fun, because I have to try and reverse this. Let's see. I turn around here like this. I am using the Zeta, Zeta crystal, by the way, today. I felt like uh, a bit of a change. Let's see, can I get this in in a safe manner? Don't turn, trailer. You're not supposed to turn. It's not wanting to behave. Let's just get it straightened up slightly. Bugger. I wonder, can I get this in at all? Okay, straighten out the wheels. 
I think I can do this. That's nope, not good enough. You can see we just we were good. Then we weren't. So look at the drone view of this. Oh, this is going even worse, isn't it? Yes, that's just not go not going to work. Come on. Nope. Plaster trailer's just doing its own thing. Come on. What if I want you to just go straight backwards? No, you're not. You don't want to do that, do you? Damn it! Blast will do it this way. There we go. Perfect backing every time. Oh, blast! Well, at least we're closer now. Should be able to get this in far enough. There we go. If we use this button here, there we go. So it's off back to the yard now that we've made some money. How much money do we have now? 11,000 pounds. Is there a more convenient bale trailer? That is the question now. Uh, bailing technology, bale trailer, bale trailer, bale trailer. This would probably carry more, but it would have the same problem as it's got a turning axle also. And it's more expensive. Yes, I don't think there is a way of getting a convenient number of bales moved at this point in time. I know there is a a flatbed uh, trailer for a lorry that we can use, but that is perhaps a bit ambitious for a farm this size. Oops, almost forgot the indicators. There is a part of me wishing this would uh, move at a slightly higher rate of speed, but 30 kilometers per hour, 20 miles an hour, will have to do. There we go. So this will be a very boring video. I will actually... Hmm. There is another field that is bailed, is there not? I will go to the field that we bailed in the previous video as it's closer to the sale point and to, to the shop. So we can sell bales, f bales faster. That would be an advantageous situation, would it not? However, we'd still need to move the bales, bales from the main farm. I think this is a, a situation where there is no victory to be had. If Bubba were not seeding, we could possibly work with 
the same. I've passed the turn off now, I've got to go to this field. If Bubba were not seeding, we could work with the same. So possibly this field is actually a better idea until the same is, is free again. Because that, I believe, is a higher top speed than this Zetor. So we may well be... Yes, this is, this is the better idea of the two. Into the field we go. Now, hopefully, this will work. Hopefully, we are now collecting bales. Are we collecting bales? We are collecting bales. Fantastic. So what we need to do here is just drive around the field, collect the bales, and we should be good. Hopefully. And not hit the Ford TW35. Or T-Dub, as certain people seem to enjoy calling it. Now, granted we are travelling at our top rate of speed, it should not affect the quality of the bales in any way. It is still collecting. We should be good. Good bales there. Find out when we make this turn here if there's any bales left in the field. One or two, not many. So the aim here is to drive as close as humanly possible to the bales so they can be picked up by this trailer. I don't know by which method the trailer picks them up, it just works. It's magic. I believe this trailer has been enchanted somehow to pick up square bales. I don't know why somebody would enchant the trailer, but this would appear to be the case in this situation and I'm not going to complain so this is doing wonderfully we've missed two bales here that one grab this one seeing as it's in the turning circle and this one over here there we go Go back down the field now. There we go. Some bales. Lovely bales. Get on my trailer. There we go. Trailer's not quite full yet, which is magnificent. I'm just going to slow down here to make sure the magic works. Magic does appear to be working. And I think we've got both the headlands cleared up. So if we were to drive along these lines, this should, in theory, be picking the bales up and stacking them on the trailer. I don't know how this magic works, but it does. There we go. I'm also not going to complain about the magic, and neither should you. Otherwise, I'd be spending many hours and much time stood in the field throwing bales in the general direction of the trailer and hoping for the best. And then stacking them in a manual fashion. There we go. Keep working, please, magic. How did I miss that bale? How on earth did I miss that one? Does the magic sometimes just decide to not work? Whatever sorcery is on this trailer. 
didn't seem to work at all for the last couple of bales, in fact. Perhaps I'm too far away. Let's attempt to bump. Yes, th this is the way I need to drive it. Gangsta Lean, I believe it is called. Sup, homie? How is it protruding? I think that's what the gangster style people say. There we go. This plan is foolproof. And I think Bubba's just finished with the uh, the same. So if we were to complete this field, we can go back to the main yard and pick up the same. Use that. Turn around. I don't think the lean may have. I think the lean may have failed there slightly. Only for perhaps a single bail. There we go. It, it seems as if the tactic to be used is to attempt to run a bale over gangsterly in this way for this line is to to run the wheel of the tractor against the bale itself that way I know that the magic will work that may have been a bit too close Yes, the gangster lean method does seem to be working. There we go. Turn around and lean over this way so we can pick up the other other bale. I feel hip and cool. There is a bale under that tractor. Can we pick it up? Can, can we get the bale from under the TW-35? No. Let us move then the TW35 to a position in which it is not sat on top of the bale. Or poops the bale out like that. Magnificent. There we go. Which way should we. Yes, this way. Lean engaged. And this is going to be very tight. I think it's picked it up. There we go. This is not at all a, a, a way in which you should drive your tractors, of course, on your farms, but it is the method by which it works. Engage the lean, watch the tire. There we go. There we go. All of the bales are being picked up. I've run one over. Perhaps I don't actually need to, I don't actually need to lean, I just need to I don't think the leaning had anything to do with success rates. It does, however, appear as if we can fill this trailer from just this field. Which, uh, that would be quite good, in fact. As I wouldn't need to return here again. Is there space on the trailer? So, plenty of space on the trailer for these remaining bales. There we go. This, uh, sorcery of the the trailer is particularly useful for these small bales. Perhaps with bigger ones I would manually walk around, well, use a, a tractor to pick the bales up. However, these bales are too small. And I think that's all of them. Is that a bale over there? No, there is no bale remaining in this field. So let us go back to the 
shopping area. Let's get the drone out. There we go. There we go. Right hand turn coming up. We've got to have those indicators. Safety first. There we go. Careful. Careful. There we go. Across the bridge in safety. I believe the double indicator lights are called hazards. And I am one, so I don't feel particularly bad using these as the going in a straight line light. Especially as this tractor does not particularly have any sort of beacon, and even if it did, it would not be visible due to the giant stack of bales on the back. Come on, indicate. There we go. Turning left. Turning right in a moment. There we go. Turning left again here. Fantastic. Straight line. And we will finish this video off with the sale of the bales. The magnificent sale of all the bales. However, I am going to, once we get to the shop, obviously I'm not going to leave you uh, right this minute, but once we get to the shop, I'm going to nip off with Ring Bubba and inform him to turn the blaster tractor off and go for lunch. Indicate early. Better signal maneuver. Maneuver. There we go. You thought I'd forget, didn't you? Oh, I, I was... I was fooling you. It was a prank, bro. Chill, bro. It was a prank. Fear not, chap. Can you tell I've been watching the... the uh, YouTube videos? I particularly like the, the prank channels. Especially the ones where people get hurt. Yes, those are particularly gruesome and horrible videos, and I perhaps I can no, that would be a terrible idea. Going to turn around and ring Bob very quickly, so I'll be back with you fine chaps in a moment. There we go. So let's see if I can reverse this thing. It does help if I remember to engage the reverse gear. And plus, this trailer just seems to want to do its own thing no matter what I do. There is no way for me to have the tractor somewhat aligned with the direction of travel. Unless I were to do this. That hasn't even worked. If I were to do... Last damn. If I were to do something maybe like this, then this. Come on. The blast trailer doesn't want to reverse now. Infernal machine. Come on. You want the bales off just as much as I do. The sooner you start behaving, the sooner you'll get the bales off you. You blasted infernal machine. There you go. That's much more like it. Blast. Blast. Oh, damn. Well, I might be able to re re revive this attempt. No, not going to work. 
straighten it up. And we want the ray of the trader going in that direction roughly, now that direction roughly. Nuts! That immediately went wrong. No, that's just not going to work, is it? There we go. Perhaps if I make smaller adjustments. It was going well until I realized I was turning in the wrong direction. There we go. If I just straighten this up a bit. And bring it further back. Like that. Blast. <laughs> a few bales didn't fall in. Well, these can be easily sorted with a pick and a throw. There we go. Come on. Infernal. Damn it. There we go, there we go. One last bail. If you want to behave, please bail. There we go. In you go. Are there any bales after falling out in the wrong direction entirely? Oh, blast! <laughs> Actually, quite a few of these have gone in the um, less than ideal position here. However, if I throw them over the bales, they do seem to want to be sold. Still, magnificent. Come on. No, don't do that. There we go. Over you go. Over you go. Over you go. Over. No, don't fall back down this way. Over there. Over there. Over there. While I'm doing this, I may as well start finishing the video. We are running low on time, of course, as we always seem to do. Unfortunately. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know not a whole lot got done. However, it was work which needed doing. Hopefully, I'll be finished selling these off in a moment and be able to check how much we've actually made from that field. Come on. Blast it. There we go. These bales will be the end of me. If you did enjoy the video, please do hit the like button and the share button and the subscribe button on Dave's channel. He is kind enough to give me time to put these up, so please do help him out. And do feel free to watch the playlist of all the videos, which I have done. Uh, is there more on this side? No. Any around the back here? No. Brilliant. I will leave you by saying I have been Quentin. You've been watching Orchard Farm in Farming Simulator 17. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, pip pip tally ho and goodbye.